learn how to um, to free us from our perceptions. Because if we are living in a simulated um, realm, uh, maybe we're living on planet Earth, you know, but planet Earth is uh, potentially is being simulated um, by our perception. And, you know, don't take this stuff 100% serious because, you know, if we are infinite, then we have the ability to be infinite you know we can be anything we really want uh and this perception of reality can be manifested into anything um yet the truth is is that for many of us we are living within the walls of the the creator of this this perception this um this world you know that we see is built by a creator of deception and if we look around it's it's actually not it's a such a beautiful world within the natural um uh you know it's through the the world of um beauty and and love and divinity and it's such a beautiful world to live in but when we talk about the uh the greed and the narcissism and the, the evil which exists within this world it's a dark place and we can say that the operator or the, uh, the, the, the mad controller of this world has one, uh, has one desire for human beings. It's to separate us and to keep us uh, circling um, on, that, on that train and to keep us from awakening from the true self-identity of, um, of who we really belong to, which is uh, light divine light, divine love. Divine light is essentially the, uh, the, the pure divinity of infinite reality um, taking form within this perspective of existence. And we're so uh, controlled from a young age to disconnect from this essence of existence and to disconnect from the true power of, um, of truth that we are so caught up in um, vibrations such as uh, ignorance and jealousy and, and, and toxicity, that we are so caught up and mixed into these vibrations that we don't have enough power to actually um, generate the own growth of, not the growth, but the own divine connection to our own truths. Because we're all connected uh, to our own light if we, choose to grow within it it's you know we can grow within it by learning how to love the self listen to the self accept the self you know accept who we are accept that no matter how f fucked up our upbringing was is that this upbringing was brought into us without our own sense of truth or sense of uh empowerment but now in this moment we do have the power to um, accept our reality for what it is you know maybe some upbringings we just were experienced what we experienced but that has led us to the moment where we can truly take action in this present moment and the present moment will always and will always be the divine truth the truth exists within this present moment and it doesn't exist anywhere else. It doesn't exist in the future. It doesn't exist in the past. Often we convince ourselves that we'll do something in the future or do something in the past, but it doesn't exist. It only exists in this present moment. And we're so diluted in the perception of um, our controllers that if we can convince we have to do something in the future and we sell ourselves to the idea that we are going to do something in the future, whether that's, you know, commit to something or we often sell ourselves in that moment because the perception of this present moment is then cut and we are now always looking ahead into the future, which is keeping us in the uh, program sense of, um, of delusion because it doesn't exist. We can go more about this maybe in another video because uh, there you go. See, it, go, it goes like that. When we can think that we will do something in the future, it doesn't actually exist. We might have intentions to do something in the future, but um, 